Hi guys, this is Raisha and I welcome you all back to another video of the phase two of the MyTax GRI application process. As promised in my last video, this video is going to be about how to prepare for the MyTax interviews. But before we start off with how to prepare for the interviews, I want to state this very clearly. Be extremely careful while replying to your professor's emails. Firstly, use formal language, be very courteous, Timely reply to the emails. It's very important. Don't leave them hanging. And specify your availability very clearly. As far as the preparation of interviews is concerned, it's not much because the professors there are very chill, you can say, and they are very nice. They want to know about you. And of course, your skills matter. But it's more of an interactive interview. They want to know more about you, like your background and such. So keeping those things in mind, Let's get ahead. So I suggest that you do some background research on your professor and the project. Very important because you should have some knowledge to the person that you're going to speak to and the project that you're going to discuss about. So you should read up about the kind of work he or she has published in the past, follow them on research date and keep up on the articles or the papers that they keep on publishing and read up the, about them so that you have a lot of knowledge about the kind of work that they do. And also read up about that professor's lab, the kind of work that is being conducted in their laboratory. Go over their LinkedIn profile, see the kind of network that they have, the kind of things that they follow, the kind of maybe the kind of posts that they put out, what is their vision, what kind of things that they put out if they have the time and go over the university website, read up about things if there are any which have been written on the professor. From there also you can get some knowledge about the person, the said person. And what I did uh, at my time when I had the interviews, I, I just took a white sheet of paper and draft some answers to commonly asked questions, right? So that you are pre prepared beforehand and you, and some questions don't take you by surprise. Like you have some bit of, I won't say mechanical, but some drafted clear answers so that you don't have to think a lot while answering them. So one of the basic questions is, tell me about yourself. So you can write up a good answer on that. And very important, why did you apply to this particular project? So the idea is you need to keep the interview interactive. So the thing is, you need to ask, you can ask clarifying questions about the particular project, which they're they are working on or are going to work on, and what is their vision. And like, if you have read any form of papers written by the professor, you can ask questions on that. The thing is, you need to give importance to the person who's speaking to you, because anyway, they are they are doing such amazing research work. And you should have some knowledge before speaking to them because it shows the kind of interest that you have to the project and the vision and the idea. So do your background research really well because it really puts an amazing impression on the person whom you're speaking to. And obviously the skills are very important. So they may ask for some samples of your, um, like the work that you have done previously, if any. Uh, in the emails, like they can ask, could you send me some samples of your past uh, reports or the project work which you have done, the assignments you have done in your uh, college, and if you have done any kind of teamwork, what was the part that you did, and so on. So that's very important. You should have a thorough knowledge of all the subjects that you have, because uh, sometimes the professor can also ask like which all subjects in your uh, field of study are relevant to this particular project because they want to know have you studied those subjects or not. So that's also important. You should keep that in mind. And some of the pro tips that I would like to share is read your application PDF really thoroughly because you should like the answers that you're giving in the interview should, if they are pertaining to that the questions which were asked in the application they should match, right? Um, it, like in the application, it was asked once, like, why do you want to pursue like research in um, Canada? They indirectly asked this, right? So the kind of answer that you wrote over there should match with the answer that you give during the interview. 
So read your application thoroughly, go over the whole of your resume because they can ask questions on that too. And be clear in showcase, showcasing your interests. Not all the professors expect undergraduate students to have a lot of skills and know a lot about the kind of field, the research that they are doing. But what they want is you, you clearly show your interests. So in so, some cases, your interests can, you know, overpower your skill set. So it's best to show your interest in their particular field of research. And be confident and natural. If you're natural and if you're truthful, they'll understand. And if you're willing to showcase that you are, that you want to learn new skills, they would be appreciative of that. And it might be your shot to gaining this internship. So these are some of the tips which I think might help you in your interview process. If you have any more doubts, you can comment those down in the section below. And you can reach out to me on LinkedIn or Instagram. I would be very, very happy to help you. And I wish you the very best for your interview process. Bye.